already. So, well, he said so. Our next speaker is Fernando Richter Vidal. Uh, he started his PhD at the University of Coimbra in 2021, and his research interests are related to blockchain technology, um, especially vulnerability detection techniques for smart contracts, fault and vulnerability injection, and blockchain transaction revocation mechanisms. And that's what he's going to be telling us about today.
to attack this area. I will use this, this. Sorry. And the other hand, we are handling because we are aware it's impossible to cover uh, all kind of problems. So when uh, uh, folks came, we are planning to provide a way to handle the attack of this is low vulnerabilities. Well, here, um, a preliminary uh, results of our representative model, which I would like to invite you to, uh, to contribute. This is our open source, right? Uh, this is a measure we gave in this journal, but there are there are a uh, website and everyone can contribute. This is a, a new uh, classification for smart contract vulnerability. Right. We have been identifying that CWC and that task has a limitation. Then we started to analyze the reports from um, um, vulnerability detection tools and we create this new model. Well, uh, of course, we need a fault injection tool because we need to perform experiments to generate data. To, to provide support to us our analysis. This is our full injection tool. Uh, basically, we have a smart contract. We transform in a uh, syntax tree. We inject faults based on our model. And this results in a mutation contracts. And after that, we run the mutation, the, the, the original contract, and the, the, in the faulty contracts and we run this in a hyperledge property and we analyze this results. Okay. Well about the symbol we have been mapping the strengths and the weakness of each technique. For example for our verification for model checking is good for a DOS attack. This study analysis is good to identify some kind of patterns. Fuzzing is good to reduce the false positives. And we are interested to, uh, to answer this question. Which are the vulnerabilities is detected by each technique? Uh, what are the false uh, positive rates of each technique? How, how is the performance of each technique for the same vulnerability? And this is the study that we are uh, planning to execute to generate data to support our analysis of fault impact, the effectiveness of the verification tools, and the impact of the those faults. This is in, um, the, fault, the fault that escape of the vulnerability uh, tool. Well, in the last one, is a mirror for um, blockchain remote uh, transaction. Uh, we have been playing this uh, in two ways, in our reactive this uh, this means when the developer discover a call after the, the program is running, the application is running, and in some way, for example, uh, uh, application generates data that violates the G, uh, GDPR uh, law. So we have to provide some ways to techniques to uh, revoke this operation. These are the use. These are techniques. Um, we have been identifying state of the art, and on the other hand, we are planning to apply uh, preventive uh, mechanisms uh, such as filtering. Right? Well, uh, concluding, I have been I, I presented um, a proposal that cover uh, from vulnerabilities. Uh, of the smart contract until the transaction revocation. Uh, I have been described the motivations and I have been presenting the, the issues and the technical uh, objective to address them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>